Hi everyone, this is Always Uplift TD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing and demonstrating my new software called SHSH Saver. This is a free tool for saving your onboard SHSH blobs of Checkmate compatible devices. Checkmate compatible devices range from the iPhone 5S to iPhone X, but this tool unfortunately only supports the iPhone 6 to iPhone X. The reason for this is kind of complicated, but in a short explanation, it's because the iPhone 5S requires a different method of booting a RAM disk, and this tool does not have that function. It may be a later update though. If you viewed my website and my channel for a while, you may have known that SHSH Saver has been around for a little while now. If you didn't know, SHSH Saver was originally an app that I coded in Python. I ended up deciding that it would be better to code it in Swift. So I did a complete rewrite. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the tool on an iPhone 6 running iOS 11. The first thing you're going to want to know is how to enter DFU mode on your device. DFU mode is a certain type of mode on Apple devices that allows booting of different or custom files, in our case, a RAM disk. To find out how to enter DFU mode for your device, just Google how to enter DFU mode on and then your iPhone model. Example might be how to enter DFU mode on iPhone 7. There are lots of online videos and tutorials for entering DFU mode. I will now enter DFU mode on this iPhone 6. I want to quickly mention that if your Mac has the new USB-C ports instead of USB-A, then you will need an adapter that converts USB-C to USB-A. You can't just connect the normal lightning to USB-C cord into the Mac because entering DFU mode will fail. So when entering DFU mode on any iPhone with a Mac with USB-C, you will need that adapter. So first I'm going to plug it into my Mac. And then I'm going to connect my USB-A to Lightning into the port. And then I'm going to plug it into the phone. To enter DFU mode on the iPhone 6, 6S, and SE first generation, you'll press and hold the home and power buttons together until the screen goes black. And then when the screen goes black, then you'll release the power button, but keep holding the home button until you get a pop-up on your Mac saying that it has detected the device in DFU mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And again, we're going to press and hold the home and power buttons together until the screen goes black. So there we go, it went black, so I'm going to release the power button, but keep holding the home button until you get a pop-up on your Mac. All right, there we go. So as you can see, it says it has detected the device in DFU mode. So we're going to hit OK. And now we will move on to downloading the software. To download the software, you will first visit my website. Open the web browser of your choice. In my case, I'm using Safari. And go to a new tab and then type in Always Apple FTD, one word, dot github dot io. Now once the website has loaded, scroll down until you find the SHSH Saver section. Click the Learn More button. When the SHSH Saver page opens, scroll way down until you find the Download button. Click the top button that says Download SHSH Saver version 1.1, Swift Rewrite. It will open the site to download the file. Click on this big blue download button. And in some cases, you may get a pop-up ad like that. Just close the pop-up ad. And you can see we now have the SHSH Saver zip file downloading. It may take a minute depending on your internet connection. All right, so the file has downloaded now, so you can just double click to extract it. And open the folder. And then drag and drop the SHSH Saver app into the Applications folder in the menu bar. So you can see here is the Applications folder. 
So we're going to drag this SHSH Saver app right into the Applications folder. And you shouldn't get this pop-up, it's just because I already have the app in my Applications folder, so just hit Replace if you do get that, although you shouldn't. And now it's copied over, so we can click this little Applications menu button over here to go into the Applications menu and then double-click on the SHSH Saver application. You may get this message right here that says SHSH Saver is damaged and cannot be opened. You should move it to trash. The other message that sometimes comes up is it's from an unidentified developer. If that message comes up, just click Cancel and then right-click on the application and select Open. And that will usually fix that message but it won't fix the message right here because we have to do one more step. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your launch pad and then open the other folder and then look for the terminal application right here. So just open that and make sure it's on a blank window like this with you know minimal code. If there's any lines of complicated code or other commands, then just start a new window by going to the shell menu and selecting new window. You can also press Command N on your keyboard to start a new window. But that's not necessary if it's just a blank window. Now type all lowercase X A T T R, put a space, then a dash C R, all lowercase, then drag and drop the SHSH Saver application right into the terminal window here. Now click Enter. If you get these weird permission denied things, that's totally fine. It worked, that is not an error. So we can now X out of the terminal window. And now we're gonna double click on the SHSH Saver application again, and it should open this time. And boom, there we are inside of the SHSH Saver application. The first button you'll wanna click is the boot RAM disk button. It will ask you to enter DFU mode in case you haven't already. Make sure that your device is still in DFU mode from the tutorial that you followed earlier off the internet. Click the OK button, then click OK again. And now, enter the iOS version of your device. It doesn't have to be exact, just something close by to the example. For example, 14.0 on a 14.7 device. So I'm going to enter 11.3. My device is running 11.3.1. I'm going to hit OK. And now the tool is going to create the RAM disk. And it will also tell you when it's complete. So let's wait. I'm going to fast forward this. All right, so now we have a pop-up that says the RAM disk was successfully created. Now you can press OK to boot the RAM disk on your device. And in a moment here, you're going to see the screen is going to lit, light up slightly. So there we go, you can see it's lit up, and now we have the SSHRD logo on the screen. And we're probably almost done with the booting. And there we go. You can see the iPhone is booting with all this verbose text, and we also have a pop-up that says the RAM disk is booted. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can click the button that says Save Blobs. It will take a minute. There's all the code. And then it will tell you that your blobs have been successfully dumped. It asks you if you would like to choose where to save them. You can opt out of this option, but it's highly recommended that you do this, because if you don't, then you will have to go all the way back into the app's resources folder to access them again. When you click yes, it will open a directory selection box. It's already selected downloads and I'm just gonna keep it at that for now. It will take a second and then it will ask you if you would like to choose a custom blob file name. This can be anything. It can contain dots, slashes, dashes, underscores, and almost any character. If you leave it blank, it will be the default file name, which is dumped.shsh. I'm going to enter the name my SHSH file, all one word, and I'm going to hit OK. 
And then let's open the downloads folder and see if the blob file is there. So I'm going to click out of SHSH Saver, go to the Finder File menu, New Finder window, and go to Downloads. And boom, there it is. My SHSH file dot SHSH. You can click on it. And the blob file also contains a generator, which is sometimes an issue that comes up when you use Future Restore. It will say generator missing. You can see the generator is right down there. And that's basically it. You now have saved SHSH blobs for your device iOS version. I really hope that this software is helpful to you and that you can put it to great use. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and SHSH Saver has been a help to you, then please like this video. And as always, if you want more cool content like this, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for now, and I'll catch you in my next video.